What's up guys? Welcome back to the Obsessive Gardener. Today I have a frightening pepper. I wasn't planning on doing this one, but I was like, I never even seen a Jace Chocolate Ghost Scorpion, so might as well try it. So this was sent to me by Mark Wilkerson, so thank you very much. So here it is. Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion. And here's the thing I have. I'm growing Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion and I'm also growing um, Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion and I'm also growing the Creamsicle Ghost Scorpion which is a variant of the Jay's Peach that's more of a cream color. Um, I haven't tried any of those. So I've never tried Jay's anything except for Jay's Pink. Um, so this one will be the first one that I try out of the Jay's Ghost Scorpions. Um, so yeah. And I'm, cho chocolate pods <clears throat> are usually excruciatingly hot. So here we go. It's getting kind of soft already so that's kind of another reason why i wanted to get on this i haven't eaten anything today but that's not smart thing to do when eating an extremely hot pepper the only thing that i have had today to eat is a hot pepper i had an eckerton earlier which is a serrano crossed with a um a red cherry pepper and that was also sent to me by mark wilkerson if you watched my um video the other day um, I did a video on the box of peppers he sent me just showing them there's the oil I can smell it. it actually has a really good smell to it very nice um, ooh, it's kind of burning the nostrils right now if you know what I mean give you a little look at this half So definitely a lot of placenta in there. Very oily. Um, yeah, so here we go. Um, this side's not as bad as far as placenta goes. So guess where I'm gonna take a bite from? This side that has less placenta. All right, <clears throat> cut off a little slab here. I'm a bit nervous, here we go. Very nice. Mmm, that's good. <clears throat> the flavor you would expect from um, a chocolate pod. Kind of that earthy flavor, kind of sweet. Mmm, it's good. Unless this thing is a creeper, it's not beating me up too bad right now. Um, it's, it's creeping up a little bit, but I, I can tell it's not going to like just boom hit me out of nowhere. I don't think. No. So I guess that means I got to go a little bit higher up on this pod. But I, I can talk about the flavor. The flavor is really good. Um, the flavor, I give the flavor like a good 7 out of 10. Um, it's, it's a, it's a delicious pod. This would be definitely one to throw into like, um, I'd like to throw this into like a chocolate, um, colored hot sauce. Um, I'm actually fermenting one right now. So I might take all the chocolate pods out of these boxes, de-seed them and freeze them. And then when the chocolate, um, pods that I'm fermenting are done fermenting, throw them in. And I actually took one of those little, um, when you go to a hotel, they give you those little pouches that have the coffee. They're almost like, you know, like a tea bag. Um, so I took one of those and I threw it in with the pods that are fermenting to get that kind of coffee flavor going on. So that should be interesting. I'm going to take another slice off this thing. So I can't say much about the heat yet because it hasn't really hit me very hard. Hotter as you move up. 
because you get more and more of that placenta, more and more of the oils, heat's kind of creeping. <clears throat> it's kind of hanging out of the back of my throat, back of my tongue. It's hot. Sweat's starting to form on my brow. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Gave me like the chills. That was weird. <clears throat> I have like goosebumps on my legs and on my arms right now. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I'm scared to go higher on this thing, but I know I'm not really doing the heat justice. But I'm scared to climb higher on this pot because I know it's it's gonna hit me hard, and I really don't feel like getting all burnt up. But here we go. I'm going to go higher. Uh Okay, so it's hot <clears throat> and I'm scared to go like higher than that because I know I'm going to get right into the thick of the placenta, but I judge a lot of pods off of not eating the thick of the placenta. So if I'm going to judge this one on heat, <clears throat> unless my tolerance is like skyrocketing, I'll give this like a six out of 10. It's not nearly as hot as I expected. It's really doing a number on my throat though. <clears throat> I think that's why. Because if you know me and you watch my videos, the ones that attack my tongue are the ones that are like, oh my gosh, this is like a nine, you know. Um, <clears throat> and it's on my tongue and it's hurting, but it's mostly on the back of my throat. And I can feel it feels like um, it's burning a hole in my esophagus right now. And it probably is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so it was, <clears throat> it was like a six. Almost want to say seven, but I'm not going to, because it, it's as I'm talking, it's kind of moving the oils around my mouth and <clears throat> stuff. So it's it's like getting a little bit hotter, but I'm gonna stand at six, and uh, that's a good all around pod. Um, flavor seven out of ten, heat six out of ten. That was the Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion, or um. Definitely saving seeds for this puppy. Um, going them next year. <clears throat> um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And thanks again, Mark Wilkerson, for sending me all these pods. Um, I appreciate it a lot. I'm not going to be able to do um, reviews on every single one of them. But I'm going to try to get a few in there. But this is a good pepper. <clears throat> Flavor-wise, it's really good. I like it. <sighs> And it's got some good heat too. So yeah, Jay's Chocolate Go Scorpion. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.